Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to crochet dishcloth with this beautiful stitch. The French product measures 9 inches by 9 inches, but you can easily to adjust it to any size you want. Materials we need are cotton yarns, a pair of scissors, 5ml needle hole, and yarn needle. Before we begin, here is my crochet ring. It is beautifully made and I highly recommend it if you crochet a lot. The link is in the description box, so make sure to check it out. Alright, let's get started. For this pattern, I'm using two strings of yarn because the yarn I'm using is very thin. But you can use any type of yarn you have. Firstly, make a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your finger and bring the working yarn through the loop. Once you have the slip knot made, insert the hole and make sure the loop is not too tight. And we're going to yarn over, pull through, that's one, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, whoops, pull through, three, four, and five, and so on. So we are making a chain of 48. If you are making a different size for mine, Make sure your foundation chain ends on an even number and I meet you on round 1. To begin round 1, this is the front side of the chain with all the weaves lined up and if you flip it around, you'll find the little bridges on the back. We are going to insert the hole into these little bridges. Start on the second chain from the hole. That's 1, 2. On this chain, flip to the back. Place a single crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Next, insert into the last stitch, which is the single crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through, then insert into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through, and again into the next bridge. It's a little bit tight. Yarn over, pull through, four loops on the hole. Yarn over, and pull through four loops. Then one chain. This is one stitch. And again, insert into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Then insert into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through, and again insert into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through with four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through four loops. One chain. One more time. Insert into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through, then insert into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through. And again into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through. Four loops on the hole. Yarn over and pull through four loops. And one chain. This is the repeat, and I meet you at the end of round one. At the end of round one, I'm on my last two chains. And again, insert into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Then insert into the next bridge. Yarn over, pull through, and again into the last bridge. Yarn over, pull through. Four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through four loops. This time, do not chain one. So, no chain one here. But instead, place a single crochet into the last chain. And you should have a total of 47 stitches. To begin round 2, one chain and turn. On the first stitch, that's this one over here, place a single crochet. 
Then insert into the seam stitch, yarn over, pull through, and insert into the next stitch. And again into the next stitch. With four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through four loops. Then one chain. And again, Repeat this stitch all the way to the end, and I'll meet you at the end of round 2. At the end of round 2 are my last 2 stitches. Insert into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and insert into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through. 4 loops on the hole, yarn over, pull through 4 loops. Remember, no one chain here. Place a single crochet into the last stitch. To begin the next round, one chain and turn. Start with a single crochet stitch and repeat round two. I did 6 rows with this color, then I switched to a different color. I'll show you how I switch colors. And I'll meet you at the end of round 6. At the end of round 6, one chain. Cut yarn because I don't need this color anymore. Turn to the other side. Insert your hole into the first stitch and pull through your new color yarn. Tie a knot. Insert hole into the seam stitch. I normally like to carry the tails with me and pull through the working yarn. Then one chain. In the seam stitch, place a single crochet. Then continue with the pattern. This is the overall of the pattern. At the beginning, I did six rows of this color. Then I switched color, two rows here, two rows here, and two rows here. From here to here, 18 rows. Then two rows here, and three rows. Total of 35 rows. And that's all for today. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more creative ideas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.